Mrs. Thatcher's repast came in answer to a question from the SDLP leader, John Hume. He said the emotions of 1974 could be appreciated by all. But, in the light of new evidence now available, would she order a full-scale inquiry into the Birmingham pub bombings? I think most of us recall the scenes of what happened then, that terrorist act and the great tragedy which lives with some families forever. But I think I must also say to the honourable gentleman that we don't either do trial by television and that the place to, to put any new evidence is with the police. The Birmingham Six campaigner, the author and Labour MP Chris Mullen, persisted, demanding a statement to the House by the Home Secretary David Waddington. The television programme alters nothing. We do not have trial by television, and the day we do, the rule of law will have left this country for good. The only thing, the only thing that matters in a court of law is evidence. The only thing that matters in reopening a case is whether there is any fresh evidence. I'm not aware yet that there is, but if there is, that matter will be fully taken into account by my right honourable friend, the Home Secretary. Last night's television programme named four of five men it claimed were the real Birmingham bombers, all now in Ireland. And it alleged that a special branch document used in the program meant the police and government ministers knew the true identity of the bombers since 1975. But the Home Office statement today, echoed at Westminster by Mrs. Thatcher, said the special branch document had already been investigated by the police and dismissed the program itself as putting forward no new evidence. Opposition MPs and some Tories had demanded a full-scale inquiry following last night's Granada television revelations. So today's Home Office statement left them angry. Among those dissatisfied MPs, Chris Mullen. They've been baiting people to name names. Uh, the Home Secretary has twice personally baited me at Home Secretary's questions. Now names have been named, not by me. And what does he do? Suddenly the goalpost moves. Suddenly names aren't the issue anymore. And Granada Television said they too were disappointed by the Home Office response. At the West Midlands Police Headquarters in Birmingham this afternoon, and it was the turn of the Chief Constable to give his view of the programme. Geoffrey Deere is due to retire on Saturday. He says the Granada programme was selective on facts and unashamedly biased. On that 1975 special branch document, he had this to say. It is of no significance whatever, and I must say I find it alarming that it was trailed uh, repetitively in the run-up to, um, uh, to the program as being brand new information of the greatest possible import. It was not. It was a red herring uh, of some magnitude. The Assistant Chief Constable of West Yorkshire, Donald Shaw, is now investigating the West Midlands Serious Crime Squad, which was disbanded by Geoffrey Deere last year. It's the biggest investigation ever undertaken by one police force into another. The first four months were taken up chasing missing documents. Mr. Shaw says files are still missing. He says they were probably misfiled and that there isn't necessarily anything sinister in that fact. The investigators say there are over 650 documents involved, of which just over 600 have been already recovered. They relate to 76 complainants. Four of those complainants are Irish. The Assistant Chief Constable of West Yorkshire says he doesn't believe he'll ever get all the documents. At least 14 police pocketbooks are still missing. Among the officers already officially cautioned is at least one West Midlands Chief Superintendent.